Hello people, welcome to another video and today I'll be talking about these two iMac G3s because as of today, the 11th of February, looks like this has actually got the right date, yeah, 11th of February 2024, I've had these computers, both of them, um, for a year, and this is basically what got me into, you know, old power PC computers, these two things here. Now, some stuff has changed, um, and to be fair, this isn't even really an accurate setup, this is a sort of rush to together setup. Because the setup is supposed to be, there's an SSD in there, it's got um, 512 megs of RAM, and and yeah, you know, it's running, you know, it's got like every version of macOS 10 on there, and then it's got broken macOS 9. And then on there, that should have the original 7 gig hard drive with 512 megs of RAM. Um, as you can probably see, 320 is not 512 megs of RAM and also this doesn't have an SSD in here at all I'm actually just targeting disk mode in this Power Mac G5 quads um, for that now as for this this is a, actually got the SSD that's supposed to be in there um, and it's got 512 megs of RAM which is what it's supposed to have why does this have 320, you might be asking? The simple reason is I thought one of the sticks, which doesn't seem to have a label, was 256 megs as well. But it's clearly not. It's clearly, um, what is that? That's 64 megabytes. Yeah. So I couldn't, my mind went, Wait, no. Wait, what is it? Don't worry about that. Not the point. The point is it's just wrong. <laughs> now, um, I've achieved various things. Now, when I got this, I did not get Mac OS X on here. I was really not very knowledgeable back then when I first got these. In fact, I didn't get Mac OS X to run on these until... August and I got these in February um, and the simple reason I think why it even happened was just firewire and then also I, I, the plan was to do an SSD upgrade the only problem was I couldn't get the SSD to be detected now little to my knowledge I did not realise this was a problem with these sort of iMacs where they just don't detect a decent chunk of SSDs. The only SSDs that they really are sort of f fine with is sand disks, in my experience. Um, so that's got a 120 gig SanDisk SSD inside. Um, yeah, I, so I bought an adapter, ID to um, SATA adapter. Now, where I got it initially, I thought it was just like broken because, you know, the SSD was appearing. But it was just literally the fact that it was um, crucial SSD and not um, thingy. So, yeah. Now, I have managed to get various cool stuff going. I think Classic Cube sort of expected. It's a bit boring. So, if we go in here, wait for it. It's going to take like nine years. It's a bit boring. Now, you're right, it is a bit boring, probably. I don't know what you're saying. Now, 
with this one, um, I'll do something different. I could do it on there, but I just have this doing one thing and one doing a different thing. Um, for the sake of making this interesting. So, if we go into, say it's actually on the desktop. So it's been a while. So this is, actually it's not really on the desktop if it's all covered. <laughs> okay, never mind, go back into Finder, then desktop, and then go down to here, go to the terminal, fuck. I just realised I could do that, I could just CD. Well, you can get Minecraft 1.8.9, the famous version used for, you know, like Hypix and stuff, running on this thing. Now, you might be asking, yeah, but it won't run well. And you're right, it doesn't run well. But this is actually quite well optimised. And you can almost get you, you can actually get it to get into the double digits of frame rate sometimes. But the sort of average frame rate is probably about sort of 5 FPS. Now, Classic Cube, for those unaware, is a optimised version of Minecraft. Well, I say optimised. It's an optimised recreation of Classic Minecraft. Now, this... As you can see, it runs a lot better. It's really well optimised. It's like C++ and not Java. The only problem with it is... Um, well, it stutters a bit. It's mostly stuttering, but as you can see, I'm getting like well into the double digits with these settings. Where they're saying as they are. Um, and to be fair... Okay, this isn't even the lowest. It goes down to 8 block render distance. So... It's not even on the lowest settings. And so it's got an FPS cap. Although it's not actually getting much above 30, to be fair. But it's achieving a block game, a 3D block game that resembles classic Minecraft, which is quite cool. You've got a bit. Now this is Minecraft 1.8.9. The real deal. This is real Minecraft. The only problem is you aren't logged into a Microsoft account. However, you can actually get around that limitation using a thing called Fire Proxy. And uh, yeah, it works. Um, I have... Actually, I don't think I've actually played Hypix on here. Has it crashed? Was it doing some weird thing? It does work, I promise. If you don't believe me, I've done videos about this before. Go look at it, I'm back to your feed. Okay, there you go. Minecraft, the real deal. I can't actually go into a server um, because I'm not connected. Um, so, I'm just going to have to go in the local world, which won't be ideal. For frame rates and stuff, but um, it will show off. It is capable of handling such a game. Now, this little box here, the one that's this powerful. I think I forgot to mention. It's a quite an important bit of information. This iMac G3 is 350 megahertz. This is as low as it goes for the slot loading IMAX. Um, if you get a train loading, oh, I think it goes down to 333. I might be wrong. I just warn you. But it goes lower. Um, now, this is quite... Yeah, it's not the best thing. This... Is 600 megahertz, so it's almost double the clock speed. Um, this of that, 
Um, and also, I should probably mention the price of these things. Now, I will warn you, I can't remember the exact price, but I know it was very dirt cheap, this one here. Unlike this one, which cost uh, way too much, but I guess having these both combined sort of offset each other. Um, but I do like the idea of calling this a really cheap iMac G3 because it actually was. So uh, you could argue, uh, how about I could just say actually it offset the price of this iMac G3, these iMac G3s, which these two, which cost I think 17 quid. But I didn't get those a year ago. I got them in September. Um, yeah. So, this was about 50 quid. For a 350 megahertz low-end one. It only had 128 megs of RAM, I believe. This one, I think had... 192 megs of RAM? I can't remember. Well, it came with, but it came with more. And it, this one came without any storage. This came with its original 7 gig hard drive with Mac OS 9 on it. And the sad thing is, I didn't get this iMac usable until um, about... Probably about... Well, yeah, probably August again. Which is quite sad, because I was just thinking this is like a parts one. No, it definitely works, as you can see. Yeah, okay. If it's on the server, it'll be a running a bit, quite a bit better, because the server's handling, you know, like, generating the world and stuff. But, um, yeah. So, there's that iMac G3 running Minecraft 1.8.9. I can actually go up to Minecraft 1.11.2, but 1.11.2 isn't as well optimised as this. I don't even really think I can get more than like 3 FPS. Well, I'm not sure if I can't remember if that was on. I think that might have been on single player as well, though. But yeah, this is real Minecraft 1.8.9 running on a computer that released in... 2001 this is a 2001 model by the way this is a 2000 model uh, yeah it's actually got smooth lighting on which isn't going to help for fps if i disable that i could get a bit more fps theoretically yeah it feels a bit smoother maybe maybe not uh, anyways yeah now As you can probably tell, this one's a bit beaten up. And I hate to say it, it's beaten up because of me. So, let's explain what happened to this. So, this power button did have its power button normal and functional. And then I took it apart and it fell apart a bit here and I couldn't get back in. So what I did was unscrew the board that was screwed there and just sort of let it hang loose like that. The only problem is I can't really have the bottom on it anymore. Um, so there's that. Now, that's all cool. But also I did, these boards had an LED light. You can sort of see it um, here here that led one that sort of just broke off it's sort of fragile it got bent and yeah with the way i had it sort of like that it was sort of getting pulled off now the final bit of damage that sort of the most recent is this bit here and all of that now to be fair the inner bit was already cracked a bit but as you can see, there are now holes. There's bits that have just fallen out. This happened because it fell on my... I had it on my bed, which used to be here, my old bed. 
and then it fell off and hit that monitor there. Thankfully, that monitor survived, by the way. It's got a bit of a scratch, but it's still, like, the LCD is perfectly fine. Well, as fine as it was before it got hit, it's got, like, some dead pixels, but they were already there. Um, now, this was just really, it was, this was like a really stressful weekend. I won't go into why, but, um, yeah, it really was, made me really annoyed because, like, the parts, you know, this just went everywhere. And there's probably still parts here on the floor somewhere and then my rope. Oh, just a bit fell off there. And then this bit broke off more recently, to be fair. It had cracked when that had happened. But it only came loose probably about a month ago. Maybe not even that. Now, this one's actually, thankfully, in quite good condition still. Um, it's just a shame it's only 350 megahertz. Because Apple decided the 350 megahertz model should not have an airport card slot, firewire ports, or a VGA port. I know, right? Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah. Now, another thing I do like about these displays, partially why I wanted these um, in the first place, is these have high refresh rate displays. At 640 by 480, you can get 117 hertz. Just to get some perspective, this phone here has a 120 hertz screen. It's almost as high of a refresh rate as that, as this phone from 2017. I forgot where it released just then. And this is from 2000 and, you know, it's ridiculous, although to be fair, I don't think they changed the iMac G3 screens at all, apart from like the connector, I think. So I think, in theory, the 1998 original model can also do the same resolutions and refresh rates here. I didn't mean to press that, sorry point it down because it's going to be flickering there we go now this is all cool now what how usable is it now i can't actually really show you how usable it is but i will tell you this it is quite usable you've got interweb ppc which is a relatively up-to-date browser um that can do things you've got discord light which lets you see stuff in Discord. You've got like Audacity, which hasn't really changed. You've got LibreOffice, although I don't feel if I actually run it on the G3 system. Um, we've got, you know, various versions of Minecraft. You've got Q, which is like Q, Quemu front end. Uh, you've got Doom, of course. Uh, Power PC. Even some expansion stuff, activity monitor, blah blah blah. You've got like iMovie as well. I don't know if that actually runs on here. Yeah, of course, you can get like older versions. I've ran like the macOS 9 version of iMovie before, made like a little video in there 1024 by 720. That's a really weird resolution. But yeah, look, this is LibreOffice. This is like from 2013, by the way. So it's still quite recent. Yeah, it looks quite familiar. I don't think LibreOffice really has changed much. Yeah, this is like version 4. Yeah, it says 2013. This is probably one of the most up-to-date apps on here, by the way. Surprisingly, VLC actually isn't that up-to-date. This version of VLC is from like 2009. Audacity, I think, is from like 2013, 2014. That's also quite recent. Um, yeah, there are some stuff like I mean, Carbon Copy Clone is from like 2015, by the way. 
Um, but yeah, it can run, you know, recent stuff as well. You know, the, you know, I mean, Classic Cubes, you know, this version of Classic Cubes from 2023 is technically the newest thing on here. Apart from maybe Interweb PPC, which is the web browser, or Arctic Fox. Or well, actually Discord, like, I guess all of those are 2023. Although, you know, like, the base of these, like, this is, like, based on Firefox, like, 52 or something like that. Actually, I think it's, like, 38. It's based on, like, an older version of Firefox. It's not much newer than Arctic Fox, which is based on Palming, which is then, like, sort of based on, like, Firefox 20-something, I think. Basically, before they ruined Firefox, is killer feature of like proper proper customizability but yeah i've had these for a year um also have i said how much i've had this this was about 180 this was about 50 um just so you know um but yeah I should also mention on this SSD i've got like every version of mac os 10 installed i think i've already said that um, yeah, so I guess that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and goodbye.